Hello everyone, this is Moses, the one who helped you if you're interested to study in Korea. And it seems that a lot of people are worried how to write a self-introduction while applying for the GKS scholarship. That's why today I'm going to tell you five things you have to keep in mind while writing your self-introduction. So let's get it. The first thing is that you have to introduce yourself. <laughs> who are you? What are you interested in? And what are your hobby? And what is your specialities? <laughs> Guys, when you're applying for the GK scholarship, you choose your major, right? So you have to write and explain why you choose that major. So let's take an example. This is actually a self-introduction for my friend who passed the KGS scholarship. Uh, this friend achieved good grades in science while he was in the middle school and high school. So he wrote that he even received science-related awards. And so this friend showed good grade and enough passion for science. So he explained well that he's suitable for the GKS scholarship. Like this friend explained based on the grade you had in the middle school and high school. And another thing, explain why you chose your major and the reason why you are a suitable candidate for the GKS program and it will be amazing to explain based on your grade and also it will be good if you have extracurricular activities and some awards so if you are curious about the interview or how my friend wrote his self-introduction please check out the video here and it will be helpful Many people are missing this part. Why should I study in Korea? <laughs> Guys, this point is very, very important because you have to mention why you have to study this major only in Korea. And this point, it can be amazing or it will be good if you mention it while writing your self-introduction or your study plan. For this part, you really have to know well your major and know well about Korea. So let's take an example. First of all, Korea is a country with a very fast technological development. But in fact, Korea didn't live well 50 years ago like this. But now Korea became a country that produced the world's best mobile phone. So as Korea achieved this tremendous technological development in only 50 years, you can write that you want to feel, experience, and learn directly in Korea where this tremendous technological development took place. Even if you don't have an IT-related major, this big development can be made in administrative field, right? So in my opinion, the efficient the Korean administrative system also played a big role. So say that you want to learn these procedures in Korea, which means you have to specifically write the reason why it has to be only Korea. Shall we listen to another example? Guys, do you like Korean dramas? Now, Netflix is investing a lot in Korean drama. So what do you think makes uh, the Korean producer, writer, and director so well? So if you are aiming to work in a broadcasting field, you can say like that. You can say that you want to learn directing or producing uh, a drama in Korea and it will be better if you approach it like this. And in this part, your understanding about Korea is so important. And the more detailed and the more specific you will write, the more your document will stand up among others. You must also write this part also, what, ki what kind of person do you want to be through uh, the GKS program? So let's take an example. If you mention that you are interested in the broadcasting field, you can write that you want to become a broadcasting expert and then produce a web drama that will explain or tell us more about your country. If you're applying to the Department of Public Administration through GKS, you can say that you want innovatively to change your country's uh, administrat administrative system 
like how Korea is. Yeah, you can say that your, your plan or your goal, your goal is to change your country's administrative system better than it is now. So this is also an example that you can write and be as detailed as possible. <laughs> Guys, it is recommended to write step by step if possible. And first, what you want to get through your major and also what kind of plan do you have through this major and in the end write down your goal as specific as possible as shown on the left so <laughs> if you have to sh you have to show your will and passion in this part it's a little bit weird to spread a good image of korea right but remember what i always emphasize on the reason of the gts program is to deepen the relationship between your country and Korea through you. So you have an obligation to promote a good image of Korea after returning back to your country because they invested in you. And to fulfill this part, like GKS program tend to select students who like and love uh, Korea. So uh, of course it's not a problem because many of you really love and like Korea. So it's not a problem. It's a great point to emphasize how you can go back to your country and make a good image of Korea because this will accurately answer the reason why they do the GKS program. And you don't have to create something that doesn't exist, but if you have something that can make a good image of Korea while studying in the GKS program, I really, really recommend to write it down. And lastly, this is what I really want to ask you. You have to be honest and honest in your own way. Actually, I received a comment from a Brazilian friend a few days ago. This friend question is, should I write it to pass or should I be honest at the, at the risking of failing? <laughs> My answer is to be honest and be yourself. Show them all all that you have got and please write down what you think what you want and what you aim and be honest also there is no specific form of self introduction you can write it in your own style like write it your own way or choose to be more formal but please represent yourself and write it in the way you feel confident because it's not something fixed yes guy today i talked about five things you have to remember while writing your self introduction honestly whenever i'm writing my self introduction i just check on youtube make a research on google and i remember a few years ago while i was searching i was thinking like is it any specific format that korean people like of the self-introduction or should i check the self-introduction of my friend who passed the gks scholarship already and hope this video will be helpful to you and if you have anything else you want to ask feel free to comment below and i will come up with an answer so let's end up the video here see you in the next one bye